Hi everyone, welcome to a new episode about critical and logical thinking. In a prior episode, I have presented the current reality trees that I have scrutinized and improved as a tutorial. A current reality tree is a thorough analysis of a problem, usually a complex one, aiming to uncover its critical root causes. Yet, achieving to build a robust, logically sound current reality tree is only half the way to solving the problem. The next step in the logical thinking process is to build a future reality tree. This future reality tree is first a trial to neutralize the negative outcomes, we call them undesirable effect or UDEs, and uh, turn them into desirable effects. Second, the future reality tree is a tabletop mock-up solution with which the envisioned solutions can be tested in order to prevent unexpected negative branches to develop and new undesirable effects to unfold. It would be ironic if the solution would create more or worse adverse effects than the original problems, wouldn't it? I am Christian Hohmann, consultant, author, blogger, YouTuber, your host for this presentation of converting current reality tree to a future reality tree. For this tutorial, I will reuse the previously presented current reality tree about high global demand on surgical masks, leading to unhappy customers in case of a sudden outbreak of a novel coronavirus pneumonia. If you haven't seen the previous episode, I strongly recommend you to watch it first, as it will help you to understand how to convert this current reality tree to a future reality tree. The link to the related episode is displayed on the screen and included in the comments of this video. If we reconsider the current reality tree and the fact that the two bottom events must exist simultaneously in order for the effect to happen, the trivial solution would be not to advise people to protect themselves and others by wearing surgical masks from the beginning. Indeed, if people didn't know that surgical masks are a cheap and easy way to protect against aerosol transmission of the COVID-19 virus, the sudden and disrupting demand for masks would not have happened, at least not as suddenly. Logically speaking, if the bottom right entity can be eliminated, the whole current reality tree collapses and the undesirable effect vanishes. This is because of the end connector, signifying that the sudden outbreak of novel coronavirus pneumonia and people are advised to protect themselves and also by wearing surgical masks are two conditions that must combine simultaneously in order to lead to high global demand on surgical masks and later lead to the whole chain of cause and effect up to the top. As the sudden outbreak of a pandemic is beyond control, the only option is to hide the information about the surgical mask solution in order to prevent a sudden and disrupting peak in mask demand. Now, this solution will not work because it lies beyond the span of control of a company and even a government. This leads us to define the problem's boundaries, meaning where we have control as a company over decisions and actions. In order to solve a problem, at least try to solve it, one must be clear about the system's boundaries. If we consider three concentric circles, the first and smallest one is the span of control. This is where we, me, you have authority and can decide and impose changes. The next circle is called sphere of influence. There, we, me or you can have some influence but cannot decide nor impose a decision. The last circle is all the external environment on which we, nor me and not even you can control or influence anything. Typically, this is weather, crowd behavior, government policies and decisions or regulations, law, standards and such things. If we come back to the current reality tree, as a company, we cannot control the next outbreak of a pandemic, 
We are not such a kind of an organization. As a company, we cannot prevent people being informed about the importance of surgical masks as preventive means. We cannot even control the global demand for masks in case of a pandemic outbreak. Therefore, the three bottom entities are beyond control and beyond influence. I would consider the system as all entities except the three bottom ones. When working to convert a current reality tree to a future reality tree, the first step is to state the desirable effects, which are usually the opposite of the undesirable effects. Here we have a wording problem from the beginning with customers are unhappy, which is too vague, not specific enough to fully understand what that means and what to change. My proposal for a desirable effect is not to make customers happy, but to avoid customers' resentment against the company because they felt poorly treated or couldn't find advice, a solution to mask shortages, or at least some empathy. My proposed desirable effect, or DE, is customers have no resentment against our company. I would also assume that customers may not be happy if the prices of surgical masks soar, but as long as they can still afford them and can get them when needed, the resentment against the company will be limited if the whole market experiences high prices. I would therefore not try to tackle the left part of the current reality tree, because this is how free economies work. Except for the addition of injection number one, we explain, when necessary, why prices went up. This reads, if customers are looking for surgical masks, and if surgical masks are too expensive, and injection one, we explain, when necessary, why prices went up, then customers have no resentment against our company. Customers may not be aware of the global surge in demand, therefore we must explain that our company is not making extra profit from the situation, but the high demand and limited stocks lead prices to go up. Note that an injection is a condition that does not yet exist, but will combine it with an existing fact in order to change the outcome. The second pain of the customers is not finding any masks. My proposed injection too is we propose alternatives to surgical masks. There are other devices like mouse shields, mouse guard or clothes masks. These solutions may not be as good as surgical masks, but better than nothing at all. Maybe we can come up with a creative new way as alternatives to surgical masks. Please note that my purpose is to show how to build a future reality tree, but I am no microbiologist or physician. Therefore, please focus on the thinking process. We read, if customers are looking for surgical masks, and if customers can't find surgical masks, and injection 2, we propose alternatives to surgical masks, then customers have no resentment against our company. Customers may not want our alternatives, but at least we didn't let them without any advice or possible solutions. The third pain customer may feel is poor treatment when they call or show up at the counter. Injection 3 is to set up a task force for coping with the surge of calls and visits to the counter. We read, if surgical masks are out of stock, and if there is a frantic general search for surgical masks, and if too many customers call or come searching for surgical masks, and if, injection 3, we set up a task force for answering calls and visiting customers, then staff are working under acceptable pressure. The idea here is to reduce the pressure so that the staff are less likely to lose their temper. The last customer pain is the potential poor attitude of staff. In order to prevent that, the long-term solution is to train staff, including for handling angry customers. However, a quick fix could be injection 4, consisting of a guideline, a cheat sheet or conversation guide to calm and funnel the angry customers. We now read, 
if staff are working under acceptable pressure and if impatient and anxious customers are getting angry and if staff lack training for handling angry customers and if this is injection 4 we provide guidelines and procedure to calm and funnel angry customers then staff show appropriate attitude when handling customers inquiry if impatient and anxious customers need help or assistance and if staff show appropriate attitude when handling customers inquiry then customers have no resentment against our company all right wrapping up when working to convert a current reality tree which is the analysis of the causes of a problem to a future reality tree which is a potential solution leading to the desired outcome we look for one or several injections. An injection is a condition that does not yet exist currently, but will combine it with an existing fact in order to change the outcome of the whole chain of cause and effect. If lucky, a single injection can get rid of the whole problem, but such silver bullets are scarce. It is more likely that several injections at various stages in the tree are necessary. This is the case with the example I presented to you, where three distinct branches need injections. In order to keep this video short and not to overload you with too many rules and good logical practices, I do not check the possible development of negative branches and unexpected undesirable effects that may result from the proposed injections. But please note that this check should be done each and every time an injection is proposed. I save this for a future episode. I hope you found interest and value in this episode. If so, please give it a thumbs up as it will help others to find it and make me happy. Share it to support my work. Thank you for your interest. <music>